Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Zach over at NV Woodworks. Today I'm going to be making a thin blue line pen using one of my blanks and I'm putting it on a gunmetal 30 caliber bolt action kit. So this is one of the most popular blanks that I have in my site. If you're interested or want to check it out, I got them over at my site. Head over to nvwoodworks.com. I've got the thin blue line blanks for law enforcement officers and I also have thin red lines for firefighters as well. So go check that out. But at the end of the video, I'm going to have a couple of little tips to make sure you get the best results with these blanks. So stay tuned, check out the end if you're interested in that, and uh, enjoy the video. I'm just going to kind of walk through the steps that I take uh, to make one of these pens.
right, so I think I walked through most of the steps in that video, but a couple of tips. One of the big things that you want to make sure when you're drilling out the blank, you don't want to rely on the center of the blank itself. You want to mark the center of the blue line. That's more important than the center of the blank. Now there could be slight deviation. It may not be dead on center uh, where that blue line is in the blank. They're pretty close, but I always mark the center and then I line up the drill press. Make sure that you got your drill press set up correctly so it's drilling straight. And I line it up using a brad point bit to make sure that I've got it centered on that, that mark. Then I switch back to, I don't have brad point bits and all these you know random sizes for pen kits, so I just switch out to a, a normal bit and then drill it out. So uh, generally, even if you're off a little bit, it's, it's still gonna be fine, but uh, that's the best way to make sure that you got a, a straight hole going through it. So for the second tip, uh, and this really applies to any pen blank, um, you wanna make sure you get a really good glue bond between the tube and the blank. Now, I see a lot of people just kind of squirt a little line on the tube and then twist it around, and I kind of have a problem with that. I, I've noticed uh, some problems uh, in my pen making, and I've switched to a different method where I actually rub in glue on both the tube, and I, and I spread it in all over the tube first, then I douse the inside of the blank with uh, CA glue, and then put it together. And the problem is, is if there's any areas where there's no glue, especially at the ends of that blank, what ends up happening is when you turn that down to very thin, you know, you're approaching the end of your turning and you're getting it down to that bushing, if there's an area where the, the blank isn't held onto the tube with glue, you're probably going to get a blowout. And what's happening is the, the plastic, the, the blank, can kind of warp at the high speeds and then you shove a tool into it and if it's bending, moving at all, the tool can grab it and just kind of rip it apart. Now, since I've switched to, you know, dousing the inside of the blank and, and doing that method where you get glue on both surfaces, I haven't noticed any issues. All right, so for the last tip, I just want to make sure everyone knows, black blanks are going to show every little flaw. So you're going to have to be really diligent to get all of the little scratches out. Uh, what I recommend, a couple little tips for sanding. I recommend make sure that you have the lathe speed slow. Uh, I usually sand around 500. And you want to use medium pressure and kind of just evenly sand it throughout all the grits. Try and keep that pressure about the same. That should help out. Now you really want to make sure, you know, you'll, you'll turn the lathe on, spin it, and kind of sand it radially. Then I recommend going kind of lengthwise with the tube. Turn it off and, and hand sand lengthwise. Then when you go to the next grit, once you've gotten all those lengthwise scratches out, you've done your job and you can you know, move on to the next grit. But I, I successively do both of those sanding steps on each grit and uh, you know, just make sure you give it enough time. Uh, you can wet sand throughout the whole sanding process. That'll probably clear some of that swarf uh, away and help out a little bit. I generally, when I'm using Abernet, I'll do that dry. Then I move to polishing papers and do those wet every time. Then I finish up with the buffing wheel and I think that's probably the best uh, method. At least that's the best method I've found uh, to get these things nice and shiny. So I hope these little tips help. Uh, again, if you are interested, you wanna pick up some of these blanks, they're available on my website, nvwoodworks.com. Uh, under the menu, they're just uh, under thin lines, or pen blanks and thin lines. And I got, again, thin red lines, I got thin blue lines and I have the dress blues blanks. So if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. I'm out there on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can check me out, see what's up in the shop. And I'm doing live streaming on Twitch. So we do Dunkin' Junk, we throw in random objects and stuff in resin, see what happens basically. And so uh, we do those Wednesdays and Saturdays, two to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you out there. So until next time, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.